Hi everyone, I'm Keith Atherton, a Power Platform Solution Architect and Microsoft MVP for business applications based in the UK. Today we're going to use Copilot to create a Power App in minutes. Now if you're new to Power Apps, this is a way of very quickly and easily creating apps using low code or no code. So we can drag and drop, place controls, it's quite easy and intuitive to use. Now if we look at this page by Microsoft, we can see that we've got options to start from a table, uh, your own data model that is, a sketch, a sentence, which is what we'll do using Copilot, or your own code. And if we scroll further down, we can see some screenshots of what they might look like as well. So first up, we'll go to make.powerapps.com. This is the Power Apps Maker portal. And what we'll do is very quickly create a, a Power App manually just to show how easy it is to use. So first we'll go to create, we'll do a blank app. In this case we'll use a canvas app. We'll give it a name and give it the format for a tablet. Now what it starts us with is this big white rectangle in the middle. This is the actual canvas for the app itself. This is where we'll, we'll be placing uh, controls and actually build up the app. We can actually have multiple screens. So on the left hand side, we've got the tree view. This is where we've got screens and controls. And on the right hand side, when one of those is selected, we've got the properties showing on the right hand side. In this case, for this screen, screen one, which is the starting point. Now, if we did want to add some controls to this canvas, we can go to insert. Let's add a button in this case. And we can see we can quickly and easily move the position where we want that to be we can easily resize. And we've also got all these other properties on the right hand side that we can change as well. So in this case, I'll go ahead and click on text and change this. We can see it's reflected there in the button. And if we go to the advanced tab right here, we've got some actions and other properties as well. So in this case, I'll go to on select, which is really the, the click action. We'll add some code to this. And if we preview the app right here to give it a run, click on the button, we can see the notification displayed at the top. Okay, so far, so straightforward. Pretty basic, but we can see it's very easy and quick to build an app up. Saying that if we did want something more complex, multiple screens, lots of different controls, such as grids, uh, form controls, uh, using uh, cameras or other other parts of the, the device, we can see that it would take time to build that up. We've got the navigation between screens and lots of other things to consider. So what we're gonna look at is using Copilot to create the app as a starting point for the app at least very, very quickly. So if we go back to the maker portal, what we've presented with front and center here is let's build an app, what should it do? Now this is the Copilot. This is where we can actually use everyday words, as it says, to describe what we want the app to do. And then it'll actually build the app for us to give us the starting point. So we can free type in here, but what we'll do in this case is go with one of these suggestions across the top. We'll go with manage, yeah, we'll do manage inspections. Give this a run. Now, the very first thing that this will do is actually look at the data model first. And in this case, it's gonna be a single table. It's gonna look at a single table, which we've got here, which is called Manage Inspections. It's created several columns, Inspection ID, Inspector Name, Inspection Date, let's move this across. And we can see we've got a few rows, five rows at the moment of dummy data. So we've actually got a starting point to use with the app to see what the data will look like. What we can do on the right-hand side is use the Copilot right here to make any kind of changes to this. So we could say, uh, add five more rows. Just to give us some more dummy data to play with. So we can see we're going from one to five right here, and it's just added another five rows as well. We can see it's given us some random names as well to use with the data for the inspector name. We've got something across here, inspection result. So let's try and do something else. Let's, let's add a new column. Uh, let's call it inspection score. And we'll, uh, we'll make sure it's a whole number as well.
Great. Okay, so let's scroll across. Great, it's understood that fine. We've now got inspection score and what looks to be a score out of 100, maybe a percentage. So again, there's some dummy data there, something we can play with. Now, when you've made all the changes, again, this is a single table for now. This is as, as far as this goes. What we're gonna do is click on create app. Now, what this is gonna do is create as an app, uh, a single screen app but it's gonna be one where we can perform all the typical line of business operations. We're gonna get a grid, which is gonna show us all of those records in there. We're gonna have the ability to search. Then we're gonna have a form control where we can actually create new records and edit existing records. So what I would say is that this using this co-pilot approach is good to give us an app that looks like what we can now see on the screen. But really, if you use this co-pilot for the moment, most of the apps do tend to have this look and feel, which is great for consistency, but it's really maybe fairly limited in what it can do for the moment, but we'll come on to that. So again, what we can see, we can see there's a single screen, main screen one. If we close this co-pilot right here, we don't need any more help just now. We'll preview this app. We can see we've got a header bar, manage inspections. We've got all of the, the records showing in a grid or a gallery on the left hand side. We've got the ability to search those records as well as create new records with this button. And on the right hand side, this main section is really the form that we've got. We can see those things like inspection date, uh, inspection ID, the inspector name and so on. Now we would probably want to actually reorder some of these controls, maybe change the sizing, uh, you know, do we do we need all these controls? Do we need to add some more form controls to this? We can see we've also got things like edit and delete options as well. So it may or may not be what you what you end up with as a final result, but it can be a really good starting point and it only takes a few minutes to get to this point. So it can be quite a game changer in getting something to market, getting something in someone's hands very, very quickly. Or if you're a citizen developer or working with a citizen dev, or citizen maker, it's something where they can create an app just using Copilot very, very quickly. So it can be very powerful. Now, again, I did mention this is fairly basic so far. We do have a single table and a single screen app. However, if we go to the Microsoft Power Platform Release Planner, we can see that there are some uh, coming soon features. One of these is to visualize and work with complex data using Copilot. So this really mentions, uh, you know, towards kind of improving some of these features and investing more in them. So things about, you know, the use of multiple tables as opposed to just one that we see at the moment, you know, visualizing that data with an entity relationship diagram. So you can see how those different relationships between the tables in your data model appear. Because most line of business applications do have a bit more than one table typically as well. We would expect some kind of a data model. Anyway, for now, the Copilot feature is great. You can spin something up very, very quickly. Uh, I really encourage you to give this feature a go. Uh, I'd love to see what you make with it. So please do get in touch and feel free to share it. Okay, um, thanks for watching and take care.